Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to upcycle a sweatshirt into this adorable little baby romper um, with the hood and it has the little buttons at the top or at the down the middle. Um, all of the, everything that I used in this came from a, I believe, a large or an extra large um, sweatshirt. Um, so if you're wanting to learn how to do that, go ahead and follow along. All right, so a couple things before we get started. One, I will be using a pattern for this, and I will link in the description. Um, if you are unfamiliar with how to work with patterns or need a little refresher, go and watch my Working With Patterns uh, YouTube tutorial um, before we get started so that you are not confused um, at the beginning. Uh, second, I will be using my serger machine for this, and I know a lot of you guys don't have those, or a serger machine, which is totally fine. You can use your regular machine for all of this that we're doing. It will just look a little different, which is completely fine. All right, let's get started. Okay, so before you start cutting anything, lay out your pattern and you wanna figure out where things are gonna lay. If you have an image here, you wanna line it up to where um, you want it to fit onto your pattern. Okay, so now I'm going to mark where I have here this corner so that I can move my pattern up and um, align that marking so that I see how much I have at the bottom. You wanna make sure that you have enough room at the bottom um, without going into the uh, waistband. Okay, so now that you know uh, where everything's gonna kind of fall, you can go ahead and start cutting your sweatshirt up. Okay, so I just start um, cutting things out. If you wanna use the neckband here, carefully cut it out. Uh, if not, then you can just cut right through it. Um, depends on what you're going to be using, but I'll just cut it out here just in case I want to use it for something else. Save it. Um, and then I just start cutting up the seams. So you can he see here I'm cutting the sides, I'm cutting off the waistband. Just keep on cutting until you have it, all of those seams cut up. Okay, so then you'll cut off the cuffs of your sleeve and then cut down the sides of your sleeves also. Okay, so once you have that whole thing cut up, you'll have two of your sleeves, two of your cuffs, your waistband, your neckband, and your front and back pieces. So now you can go ahead and start cutting out your pattern. So with this pattern piece here, it calls for two opposites of this pattern piece here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut one with the fabric facing down and then we're gonna cut it again with the fabric facing up and I'll show you a little bit how that works. So like I said, I'm cutting this with the fabric facing down. As you can see, the F is um, upside down. So that means that I'm cutting it with the wrong side of the fabric up. Cut it all out. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut the next piece. So I'm gonna turn my fabric to the other side. So now I'm cutting it with the fabric facing up. It's super important to make sure that you're double, triple checking that you're cutting it correctly. If it says cuts opposites, wanna do that. Same thing with this uh, sleeve. Cut one with the fabric facing down and cut one with the fabric facing up. Okay, so now for my cuffs, I'm gonna cut it open. So just cut right along that seam Okay, so now that you have that open, I'm gonna kinda lay it here to kinda see what I'm working with. So usually I'll just unstitch this top part here because I wanna keep as much fabric as I can. Sometimes those cuffs aren't long enough um, and it might be a little short. So by unstitching it, you're keeping about half an inch of that fabric instead of cutting it open like this. If you cut it open, you lose that top part. So with stitching, unstitching it, you get to keep a little bit more of that fabric. Okay, so now that I have it opened up, I'm just gonna get rid of this top part here, which is just part of the sleeve. Um, and now I'm going to lay it on my pattern piece. So as you can see here, um, the cuff is a little bit smaller than what the pattern piece calls for. Um, with upcycling, it's kind of, you go with what you have. I'm not gonna worry too much about um, the amount that's uh, missing here. Um, and this is also the reason why I unstitched it because it's if I would have cut it, I would have lost another half an inch. So 
Instead, I'm just gonna cut the sides and you'll cut two of those. Okay, so now for my leg cuff. So I'm gonna use my waistband cuff for this. I'm just kind of measuring out how much fabric I'll need for this. So I, I'm gonna need to have to cut this open just like we did with the other one so that I have enough fabric for that cuff. So I went ahead and seam ripped um, a portion here. I don't need to do, do the whole thing because I won't be using the whole thing. So I am going to lay this here and I'm just gonna cut the width of this. Okay, so now that I have that, it fits perfectly, so I'm gonna cut two of those. So when you have pattern pieces that are a little bit smaller than your cuff, you can go ahead and cut it open instead of having to unstitch the whole thing. Um, so like I see here, I have enough room, I know that I have enough fabric, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it open. So I'm gonna take my scissors here, you can use regular scissors, um, and then just start cutting. Open the seam. And then when you have that cut open, you can just lay it out here and then you'll just cut it. And this is a lot faster and a lot easier than seam ripping. Okay, so the last piece is our hood. We're gonna cut two, one with the fabric facing down and one with the fabric facing up. Okay, so at this point you should have two front pieces, a back piece, two sleeves, two cuffs, two hood pieces, and two leg cuffs. Make sure you have all the pieces that you need before you start getting everything sewn up. Okay, so lay your front and back pieces down and then you'll have your back piece up here and then grab your sleeves. You're gonna notice on your sleeves that there's like a little curve here. You have a lower uh, point and a higher point. Sorry, it's a little out of frame, but basically your lower points of that curve are going to go to the front pieces of your pattern and then the higher peak of that curve is going to go towards the back. So grab that uh, lower peak, and you're gonna match it up with this corner up here, and then match up the other corn, bottom corner of the sleeve, and you're gonna pin that. Okay, so now as you can see, that higher peak is up here, and that lower peak is matched up with my sleeve. So you'll do the same thing with your other side. So find the low and high peak of the top and then with that low peak you're going to match it up with the top of that sleeve hole and then match up the other end and clip them. So now you have both of your sleeves added and now you're just going to sew along both of those. Okay, so now we've added our sleeves to both of our front pieces, uh, and now we're gonna add it to our back pieces. So, kind of lay these out here. This can be a little confusing, so just go slow. Okay, this part here is going to be attached to this side of the sleeve. So I'm gonna right sides together. I'm gonna match up those sleeve sides, and clip. Okay, so now that you have that clipped, you're gonna bring your other sleeve side here and match it up with your other sleeve side of your actual sleeve. And then you're gonna pin it. Okay, so now it will look like this. Um, so that is my sleeve, this is my other sleeve here, and this is my back piece. Um, and now we're just gonna sew across both of these. Okay, so now that we have it all sewed up, um, these are my sleeves, that's my back piece, and these are my front pieces. So now I'm gonna take my back, and I'm going to fold it over, and just start lining up those sides. So line up my sleeves here, start with my um, end of my sleeve, and then I'll match up the armpit seam here. Just make sure that everything is nice and even. Line up the bottom. And 
and just continue to get everything nice and pinned. When you're first starting out, the more pinning or clipping that you do, it makes it easier when you're sewing with your machine. So now we're just gonna do the same thing with the other side, adjust and clip, and then we'll go ahead and sew, sew down both of those sides. Okay, so now that that's sewn up, I'm going to quickly just serge these edges really quick because when that folds over, I want it to, to look nice and clean. So I'm just going to serge both of those edges. Okay, so I got those edges serged. So now I'm going to grab my hoods and I'm going to place them together with right sides together. Okay, now that that's all clipped, I'm going to uh, sew along here, and I'm also going to just serge this edge here. Um, I'm not going to sew them together, I'm just going to serge by themselves so that it's nice and clean when I fold it over. Okay, I sewed all of this here, and then I just serged these edges here, and now I'm going to add my hood to my body piece. Okay, so open up that piece and you're going to find the middle of the back, which is about here. And then you're going to find the middle of the back of your hood, which is right where the seam is. And then you're going to add it to the back here. And you're going to clip that in place and then find your two edges. Match those up, clip, same thing with the other side, find your two edges, match them up, and clip. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to grab one side and, one, and the middle, and you're going to stretch it until everything kind of matches up. As you can see, one is bigger than the other. You're just going to stretch until everything lines up good. Once you find the good matching point, you're going to clip it. Keep on matching everything up and clip. Okay, same thing with the other side. Kind of lay it out flat, stretch everything out, bring those edges up towards one another. Once everything's nice and even, clip it. Sorry, I'm a little out of frame here, but same thing. Bring those edges up right over each other and clip. Keep on pinning until you have it all added to your potty piece. And then it will look a little like this. Your hood will be added onto your body piece and as you can see here the body piece is a little bit bigger than the hood but you'll just stretch a little bit as you sew to make everything line up nice and, and even all right so just sew make sure everything is nice and lined up make sure everything is getting sewed as you go and that you're not missing any layers continue to stretch a little bit so that everything lines up Okay, once that's done, it will look a little like this. Now what we're going to do is make our um, button place here. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold it over. My fabric is pretty thick. If you have thinner fabric, you can use some interfacing. It comes like this. You'll just cut out a strip and you'll iron it on to your fabric. If you never worked your interfacing, as you can see here, there's little dots here, they're glue. Once you heat it up, it will attach to your fabric and make it a little bit more stiffer so that the buttons or the buttonholes will be nice and sturdy. So like I said, you'll just cut it out, cut out a strip and iron it onto the back. Like so, as you can see here, I cut out a little piece so you would Place it right at the edge, iron it on all the way down, and then you'll be ready to go once you do it to the other side. So when you flip it over, you'll have that nice sturdy area. Okay, since I'm not going to use it, I'm just going to go ahead and fold over an inch. 
can see here, have that at an inch, and then do the top part at an inch, and then just make sure the rest of it is folded over an inch. Clip in place. Okay, so I have that there and then keep on going up into the hood. So measure out that inch fold over and clip. Okay, then you'll do the same thing to the other side, fold over an inch and clip all the way down. Once that's all clipped, it will look like this. And now you're just gonna sew an inch out to close that up. So what I did here is I put a piece of tape on my inch line. I have markings here that tell me where that inch is up there and down here. So I just added my piece of tape right where that inch line is. So when I'm sewing, it will be easier to kind of guide that fabric at the inch line. All right, so now that that's done, it will look like this. So now we are just going to add our cuffs. So grab your cuff, open it up, fold it in half, and you're gonna clip that in half. Once that's done, you're gonna sew across, and you'll do that for both of them. Okay, so now we have them both sewn, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold that over with the right sides of the fabric facing. Once that's nice and even, you're gonna find that seam and you're going to mark it with a clip or a pin. And then you're gonna fold that in half, just kind of flatten it out and then find the other side and clip that there. Okay, so now we have those sides. So you're gonna bring those sides towards the middle and then you're gonna mark the other two sides here. Okay, so now we have that cuff quartered off. We'll do the same thing with our other one. Okay, so now we're gonna quarter off our sleeve here. So I usually like to do this with um, my sleeve inside out. So find that seam here, and then you're gonna lay it flat and mark that side. That is directly across the seam and mark this side here with the seam. Bring those two together to the middle. And then mark the other two sides here. All right, so now that that's quartered off, you're gonna grab your cuff and you're gonna match up your clips. So I start by matching up my seams so the seam of my cuff is gonna match up with the seam of my sleeve. Mark up or match up those clips and then clip that in place. And then now I'm just gonna go around and match up all of those clips and clip them together. Okay, so now that we have those together, as you can see, the cuff is a little bit smaller than your actual sleeve, and that's okay because we're just going to stretch and sew as we go so everything lines up nicely. All right, so just place it. Like I said, we're gonna stretch and sew as we go to make sure everything lines up evenly and that you're catching all of those layers that you're sewing. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna fold in the sides 
so that you line up those inside leg seams. You're going to fold over those folds that we made earlier. Make sure that they're right on top of each other and clip. And then continue to um, match up those edges and clip. And once that's done, you're just going to sew that together. Okay, once that is sewn together, we're going to place our leg cuffs. So same process as the arm cuffs. Fold it in half, long ways. And clip. Sew down here. Okay, once you have that done, you're going to same, fold it over, even those edges out, grab your clips or pins, mark that seam, fold it in flat, mark that other side, okay, so then you're going to bring those to the middle, Mark the other two sides. Okay, so now you have that corded off. Same thing with your uh, leg here. I have my two seams that I'm going to mark, I'm going to use as markers. I'm going to bring those two seams into the middle, have them meet, and then I'm going to add clips to the sides. Okay, so now let's add our cuff. So here where the seam is, I'm going to mark it up with my inside seam here. So place that cuff inside, match it up with my inside seam, and clip. And then my outside seam I'm going to match up with my other clip, and then match up the rest of my two clips. Alright, so now that that's done, same thing, sew all the way around. Okay, so now that we have that, the only thing left to do is to add our snaps. I'm going to link a video on how to do that in the description. This is a tool that I'll be using for that. And there you have it. I hope you like this tutorial. I will be working on a few more tutorials, so if you like this, go ahead and subscribe so you know when the next one is uploaded.